Welcome to HiveOS. Let's get started. Simply click sign in. If you don't have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one before you're allowed to sign in. If you have a promo code, be sure to use it. Let's go to this test farm. In order to add a new worker, I simply click on the plus icon and click add worker. I've already got some tags set up, but if you don't, don't worry, we can bulk tag later on. By default, Hive will create a brand new password for this worker, so I don't need to do anything. And when I click add, now I've got all of the information I need right here. I can copy and paste this into a text file for use later on. Now let's download HiveOS. From the download page, I can simply download a zip or torrent file. I can download Hive for my ASIC machines or download the Windows Hive beta. And then the HiveOS drive flashing utility. For this example, I'm going to use etcher.io because it's simple, fast, and cross-platform. We'll also go over the Hive Flasher tool, which is a bootable USB drive that will image any SSD or hard drive you already have installed on the system that you're going to be mining with. You could use a flash drive, eight gigs is all you need, or you could use an SSD. Now with the flash drive, you'll probably get a slightly better price. However, with the SSD, you'll get long-term stability because SSDs are designed to have many writes, rewrites, and erase cycles. Okay, so we've got both etcher.io and we've got the latest version of Hive downloaded. Going to choose my image. There's no need to unpack the archive. You simply click it as is and select open. Now select the drive. The drive I'm writing to is 16 gigs. That's not a problem. Now that I have the image selected and the disks that I want to write to, I simply click flash. In the case of this drive, it's going to take over 20 minutes to finish flashing HiveOS to a USB drive. In the case of an SSD, this time would be much faster because of the write speeds. So etcher.io has finished writing the disk and now Windows isn't going to recognize it. At this point, all I need to do is remind Windows that I don't need to format this drive and it'll give me access to the partition of the new USB drive that contains the config file. Now here in the config file, there's an example that shows me exactly how to set this up. This is how we set up a new USB drive without having to boot up the new device. The ID and password can already be written to the USB drive or to the SSD. Of course, you can use the same info and type it in manually on first boot if you'd prefer to do that instead. Okay, let's move to the farm hash method of setting up a brand new USB drive or SSD. This is the simplest method actually. Remember the confirmation screen here from the new worker? All we need to do is copy this one number right here and paste it into the farm hash field on the config file. We can now duplicate that config file to as many USB drives or SSDs as we want to set up and just pop them into new machines and voila, we have new workers. Let's talk about one last way you can install HiveOS and that is through the Hive Flasher. In order to use it, you're going to need 7-zip. This image is written to the disk instead. And I can use Etcher the same way that I did before. I'm going to use the fastest drive possible because I want to be able to write from this drive to new hard drives quickly. So what is Hive Flasher? It is a bootable drive, but its only job is to copy files from itself to the embedded hard drive or SSD of the system that you're going to run Hive on, if that makes sense. So let's pretend Worst case scenario, you've got a laptop. The SSD is soldered to the motherboard. You would use the Hive Flasher in order to install Hive that way. For Hive Flasher, you're gonna to want to use a drive of at least 16 gigs in capacity. Okay, so the Hive Flasher has successfully been written to that USB drive. Here's the only step that we have left to do. And that is to get our rig ID sequence ready and to get our farm hash in place. And now I'll go into the rig config example. And we're gonna do as we did before. We're gonna create a new config file. We'd put in a farm hash number. So I'll put in fake farm hash number. We'll just pretend like that is the hash number for your farm. That's all you need to do. Now this flash drive can be brought around to different sides of the farm. And if you have devices with embedded storage or with a hard to reach storage volume, you simply have to boot them up by USB and then you'll be able to install to the internal storage using the flasher tool.